Right, um, so hi, welcome to Terraria. Um, yeah, this is, this is gonna be fun, I think. With me is Eldo. He's, say hello. Alright. I, we're not entirely sure if you'll be able to hear him, but, meh. He's there. Um. Uh, I should be able to. You should be able Wait, to. Wait, um, did, did you set the audio to recording game volume 2? Um, I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I hope so, because the Terraria music is quite amazing. Um. Right, okay, so it's loaded. Um. Alright, Tom, so what's the world like? Well, I'm at the moment. I'm just showing off my the world for the purposes of this video. I'm going to be showing off the world in which um, I've already done stuff in. Um, but next video, which should be coming soon, I hope, um, I will be in a whole new world, whole new character, and ready to get my ass handed to me. Um, uh, I'm sure that won't uh, happen. I'm, positive it will. Right, so yeah, this is, as you can see, it's 2D style. Um, it's obviously not trying to be graphically impressive. Um, but it's got a style which I quite like. And, you know, and I mean, people compare it to Minecraft because you can do things like this, which is dig. Um, but to be honest, that's pretty much where the similarity stop, as you saw in there. If I quickly go back, um, you've got you've got um, AIs, which Minecraft. I'm I'm sorry, but the people in the villages don't count as AIs. They just don't. I've, I've got this guy called um, Knub, which is a lovely name. His parents must have hated him, and um, Ryan. And Ralph, oh, oh, all these two are alone down here. Oh, oh, I'll let them do it. Anyway, so, what is Terraria then? Let's, um, oh, okay, so there is a day and night system. Um, again, that doesn't make it like Minecraft. Um, it, it just does. Um, and yes, there are more mobs at night but there's still mobs in daytime as well so you know like this slime um, which is fairly easy to kill um, I'm just going to open up my inventory and as you can see there's a bit more variety in this game for example you've got I mean so many weapons and you've got magic is actually a part of this game which I know there's mods for Minecraft and stuff, but it's actually a part of the video of this, so I think that's good. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you can play this game really how you want. You can play it as, like, um, RPG kind of, if you want. You can try and defeat all the bosses, try and get all the ice stuff. Or you can just kind of go to something because it's obviously randomly generated, as you can probably tell. And there's loads of different kind of areas and terrains and stuff um, to explore. And you, the worlds are huge, really. So, as you can see, this is what they call the corruption. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep into here because. I'll save that surprise of what's in there for my series, if you don't already know. Um, funny. Anyway, um, so yeah, but that that's that's just an example of a different terrain, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, you get in different in different terrains, you get different mobs, different items to craft things and weapons and stuff 
Um, it's nearly night time as you can see because the sun's setting over there. Looks very nice in the distance. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay out. Actually, I'm just gonna stay out here and. No, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll just go teleport back to my house. And then I will. I'm gonna get an Iron Cathedral just to show you what a boss is like. Um, I will probably die because it's quite laggy with my recording software. Um, sounds good, but it's not technical at all. Um, where is it? Ah, there you go. Right, this one, the bosses. It's it's probably the first boss you're gonna have to fight. Um, Elder, you've probably heard of this. Eye of Cthulhu. You've heard of the Eye of Cthulhu, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna fight it. So. Um. So yeah, this is. So when night time comes, and if you can hear the music, it will change in a minute. Um, zombies will come out, and I can spawn this. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because you probably don't care that much because it's just a what the heck is this game kind of thing um, so yeah um, I'm just going to quickly go through my inventory what do I have in here um, bombs or bombs uh, guns things which make things explode Burning arrows and laser guns pretty much sums up what I carry around with me on this game. Oh, and, and stars. Pretty stars. Oh, and mushrooms as well. Don't do mushroom, kids. It's, it's not cool. I'm going to pause the recording until it goes to night time because this is irritating. See you. Okay, so we're back, and it is night time, as you can tell by the music, and, um, yeah, I am going to find this monster and kill it, well, I'm going to spawn it even. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, so I'm, go I'm just going to go to the top of a candy cane castle, because why do I have a candy cane castle? Because I like candy cane. What? No. 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 Whoa, a bit of lag there. Fat on skin. Right, okay, so, I mean, you've probably seen that, the, you saw the slimes, they're, they're pretty small and stuff. Okay, um, you may have heard that kind of roar, and you might see the giant eye which is throwing smaller eyeballs at me in the attempt to rip my face off. Um, pretty much um, sums everything up. Oh, as you can see, the menu kind of pauses the game if you have it on that setting. Um, I'm going to turn that setting off my series um, so that I can't just run away and stuff just to make just to cause myself more more hell Okay, so there's a zombie there as well. Um, zombies aren't too problematic. Um, but when you've got lag um, in the recording, which I'll hopefully sort out, because otherwise it's going to be a lot harder. Um, I clicked off the screen. Um,
Yeah, I, I, I need to sort out this lag because it's ridiculous. But um, hopefully for the for the actual series, we'll be able to sort that out. Um, so yeah, this involves you spamming several different weapons because I'm actually not too good at I'm not very good at any games. It really is quite depressing. Um, Okay, so as you can t see, his um, eyeball has turned into a giant pair of teeth. So, um, yeah, that's that's not so good, to be honest. Um, it, he's now trying to bite off my face and eat it, and it's not very nice. It's a very dark game. terrifying game as well, it's basically amnesia. Oh cool, that's the edge. Um Right, um I have a I have a backup way of getting out of this thing, at least. And he's dead. Yes, I, I, I killed it. Um, killed its mother. Um, nice. My mother's very proud of me. Um, obviously, if I don't fix the lag. And I've got some rubbish copper sword, and I'm trying to kill something like that. I don't stand a chance, really. So, um, wish me luck on the series, but I think. Um, final thoughts on the game, Eldo? Would you would you get it? If if Eldo, if you're a cheapskate, which I hope you are, um, then would you get this game? Would you recommend people to get this game? From what you know of it, um, yeah, I would too. I think the company really logic. Um, I, I don't know if they've done anything else for this, but I think um, yeah, I think they did a great job. Original game, and um, it, it gets updated regularly. So obviously, it's still fresh, um, and I wholeheartedly recommend it. I hope to see you people later.